Minneapolis Metro police officers are also investigating a suspected road rage incident. It ended with a 29 year old man's death. That shooting took place earlier this week and tonight video is now circulating online claiming to show the moments before the shooting. Our Marina Silva watched that video with a criminal defense attorney to discuss what they look for when judging self defense cases. The shooting happened just after 8 o'clock on Tuesday night right here on Emerson Avenue and Thompson Road. Now, since then, IMPD has been investigating it as a suspected road rage incident. Many of you have seen the video of the shooting taken by a witness. 13 News has decided not to air the full video, but we are using photos from the video shared with us on Facebook to show what happened. Witnesses said there was an altercation between two drivers. Gavin Dasar was openly carrying a gun and walking up to the pickup driver. The pickup driver then shot and killed Dasar. The pickup driver was detained, but later released. Detectives told us he may have been acting in self-defense. We watched that video with a criminal defense attorney who used to be a prosecutor. He says there are certain things to look at when looking for self-defense. I think that there's probably a legitimate claim for self-defense now. I don't know enough about the case and I'm not seeing the state's file. So there's probably more that I don't know. But we did reach out to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office to hear if any charges have been filed or not in this case. We have not heard back. Reporting in Indianapolis, Marina Silva, 13 News. Man, that was just a dumb move. Um, you know, walking up to somebody's vehicle with a gun, it, it's not smart. I mean, even and even if he, he didn't have a gun, I, I, I think it's still not smart to walk up to somebody while they're in their vehicle in a threatening manner because you don't know what they might have inside their car. Uh, I don't know what this guy was thinking. Maybe he thought that he was the only one with a gun after he purchased his. Um, you know, I, I own guns and I carry daily. And one thing that I try to stay mindful of is that I have to remain in control of my emotions and that I'm not some some badass just because I have a gun. And, and for the wife of this uh, man, you know, she released a statement saying that, you know, his life was taken in cold blood, which, no, it, it wasn't. I mean, you can feel for her because, you know, she lost her husband and everything, but his life wasn't taken in cold blood. Um, I, I, I look at this and I see a, a person who was way out of line and another person who defended themselves because they, they, they took this guy as a threat. You know what I'm saying? And, and this was something of his own doing. You know, he made the choice to exit his vehicle with his gun and, and walk up to this man's truck. You know, he wasn't in any kind of danger that called for him to introduce a gun to that situation. I mean, if there was an accident or something like that, which I don't think it was, but if there was like an accident, you know, you, you exchange information um, and then, you know, you kind of, you know, you kind of get on with your day. And, um, but since nothing like that happened, at least from what I know, the best thing that he could have done was just to stay in his, in his vehicle and move on with his day, move on with his life. Uh, but instead he tried to intimidate somebody with a gun and it didn't end well for him, you know? And, and when you're on the opposite end of that barrel, you really don't know what somebody will and won't do. And um, I, I don't think anybody is willing to find out if this guy's serious or not, you know, but but some people really have to learn to keep their emotions in check. Um, you know, stop trying to be on this macho tough guy BS and, and learn that it's OK to walk away. Your uh, your ego may be you know, hurt a little bit, but that's a lot better than taking a dirt nap. So just a little something to think about. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Make better choices. And. Don't end up like this guy. Peace.